Hello everyone, welcome back to the OptiShot Academy. I'm Chad. And I'm Ben. Okay, we are continuing to focus on training your driver. We want to get better and better with what we believe is the most important club in the bag. So, we're going to continue to, con to train the direction of your golf ball and to do that we're going to play around with something that's very, very important, the club path. Ben, could you show everybody at home what all the sticks are about and what, what is the club path? Because I hear a lot about it. Yeah, we have a lot going on here, don't we? Uh, <laughs> so, a bunch of sticks on the ground. So we're gonna keep this nice and simple for you. So when we talk about the one motion concept and swinging the weight, the club path is essentially the direction that you're swinging the weight in. So the experiment that we're gonna to run today is with the color path sticks, we are gonna experiment with swinging the weight what we call slightly to the right. So this blue stick to this blue stick, so the two outside sticks. We're gonna swing moderately to the right. So middle blue stick to middle blue stick. We're gonna swing slightly to the right inside blue stick to inside blue stick. And then we're gonna do the same thing with the yellows. So the yellow represents a leftward path. So we have slight, moderate, severe. And then the red stick that you see in the middle is the target line. So that would kind of be the neutral line that we're trying to swing the weight in. Got it. So really going back to the experimentation and calibration process to gain directional control of the ball. Is that true? Yeah, this one's fun. One of my favorites. So the ball kind of does some crazy stuff as you're running the experiment. But the cool thing about it is you're gonna discover something that works for you. All right, perfect. So as we go back to experimentation and calibration, we want you to be very, very open to trying new things. You're gonna be surprised what you learn there. We wanna get you out of the thinking that there's a perfect way to do it, there's a right way or a wrong way. We're gonna find the best way for you, so that's what's very, very important. So, having said that, Ben, which one do you wanna start with, my friend? Uh, let's run the experiment. I always like to start extreme. So I'm gonna start with severely right with my club pass. So the outside blue stick, to the outside blue stick, and I'm just gonna see what happens. Oh, well, I tell you what, let me get this thing hooked up here. Okay. So swung the weight to the right, I thought my commitment was good, so I was a five on the scale. I felt like I was swinging the club as far to the right as I possibly could, and it produced an outcome that, eh, Maybe it wasn't my best shot, but All right. I know so, that it went right. So the ball's the teacher. The ball went to the right when you swung severely right. That is true. Very good. So at home, it's going to be important to, to use the ball as the teacher so you can help understand what type of swing path creates what different shots for you. So having said that, where do you want to go from here? Do you want to go to the other extreme? Yeah, let's try uh, extreme left this time. All right. Extreme left. I keep putting that thing in the wrong spot, don't I? It's all good. And there it goes. So the interesting part about that is I swung severely to the left and it gave me a better outcome than the right. The other thing that I'm noticing is as I'm swinging the weight in these different directions, not only am I paying attention to the direction the ball's going, I'm also kind of feeling what the, the contact's like on the face. So I noticed when I swung severely right, I kind of hit it on the bottom part of the club, the ball went right. When I swung severely left, I hit it really solid, but the ball just went a little bit left. Got it. So the more people can play with these at home, the more they can discover how it influences both the direction and the contact? Yeah, it's got multiple benefits. So it's not okay. just gonna help you with direction control, it's also gonna help you with center face contact. Okay, so on this one, you went to the, to the extreme, severe. Where would you like to go from here based on what the ball's teaching you? Uh, so when I went severe right, ball missed too far right, severe left, ball missed too far left. So let's try something right in the middle and see if uh, I can kind of split the uprights on the screen here. So straight down Main Street? Yeah, straight down Main Street. We're going red to red. Okay. <laughs> it kind of did what it was supposed to, but for the people at home when they're trying these experiments, remember there's intention versus reality here. So sometimes what feels like you might be swinging severely right or severely left might actually be pretty neutral and the ball could go straight for you. So remember, we're not trying to get this right. We're just running the experiment to see what gives us the best outcome. Is that right? That's perfect. That's perfect. So the more you can be open and detach from what the ball is going to do and get into exploring what it does do, the better off you're going to be. So we're just trying to swing the weight of the club in different directions here, yes? Yeah. All right, very good. So a lot of the people, when we talk to them, they come to us and they say they want to be consistent and they want to make their swing better. Uh, we believe this is the best possible way to do that. So uh, you're going to be surprised when you train in this type of way, how much quickly you're going to, or how much quicker, pardon me, you're going to find out what it takes for you to hit the ball where you want to. 
play around with different swing paths, open yourself up to new possibilities. Keep up your training. We'll look forward to seeing you the next time at the OptiShot Academy.